The floor is yours, Simon. Thank you, Mark. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Simon Mander, owner and managing director of Avanti Conveyors. This morning, I'd like to introduce you to Avanti, our core values, and present our latest developments in materials handling. Avanti are the largest UK conveyor manufacturer specifically designed for the corrugated industry. In the last eight years, we've gone from a distribution business to a fully fledged manufacturing. 100% of our products are developed in house by our 55 employees. This journey has meant that Avanti have developed a full range of conveyor products, essentially from a blank sheet of paper, but with the experience of 30 years of conveyor installations. By necessity, this has meant that Avanti have become adept at development, and that is at the heart of our business. This drive has led us to pose the question to our customers, what is your next materials handling bottleneck that prevents your converting machines running at full efficiency? At Avanti, we like to call this asset optimization. Our customers told us that the issue did not lay with conveyors, but with peripheral equipment. They told us a worrisome challenge, run full speed on die cutters without being slowed down by the separator or palletizer. The accepted norm is that on certain work mixes, on certain patterns, the separator palletized line would be a constraint. Uh, we don't like constraints. I'd like to introduce you to Pegasus, Avanti's answer to removing those constraints. The Pegasus palletizing and separating line has been built in conjunction with the government support from Innovate UK. This has allowed us many months of research and development by our engineering team. We've also worked um, in conjunction with NOAA PRISM on market research. That told us that demand will be for smaller cases, running many outs from the die cutter, 40 plus will be the norm. Pegasus was, Pegasus was designed to handle exactly that work, below 200 millimeters. Up to now, many bottlenecks in the palletizing and separating line have been accepted. Pegasus means you don't have to accept those bottlenecks anymore. The first bottleneck in the separating line is the separator slowing the line in various ways. The Pegasus separator has a cycle time of less than four seconds. Using all electric drives to help eliminate, uh, operate, uh, reduce the operating costs and plastic bolts throughout to eliminate any mark to the board. The second bottleneck is in the second separator and Pegasus will ensure that the second separator is optimized regardless of layer pattern. Using a split drive 90 degree transfer following the second separator, this gives us that flexibility. This allows the second separator to always break at least two bundles at a time, giving a two second per bundle cycle time. So we're never kept waiting, never idle. The third bottleneck of the line is at the 90 degree transfers. Using our conveyor experience, desynchronization buffers are positioned throughout the line, either side of cycle time constrained devices, like the separator or the 90 degree transfer. This gives the system catch up time, again, to optimize the cycle time of each device. As you're all aware, a major bottleneck in a palletizing and separating line is the usually slow and complex layer formation of overlapping patterns. Pegasus layer formation handles always multiple bundles at the same time. So even complex patterns with difficult to handle products, very high capacities can be achieved. Most of the time, Pegasus is forming two layers simultaneously. This is achieved by the split drive rotation device which is tempting to call, to call a turntable, but is in fact much more complex. <coughs> Most overlapping, pa overlapping patterns are pre-programmed, allowing for the highest capacity that Pegasus knows it can achieve. Final stack quality is also a current issue in lines and deserves more attention. After all, the product your customer receives should be a straight, clean, and tidy pallet of your product. We found to ensure that final stack quality, the bundle presented to the layer loader must be maintained throughout the whole process. The main issue with bundle integrity was the handling between devices. And here the devil is in the detail. 
transitions between each unit, smooth synchronous drive operations, and the use of small pitch belts are all standard to Pegasus. The layer loading on Pegasus is carried out by the BFG. Um, for Roald Dahl fans, that is the big friendly giant. The BFG solution marries the virtues and speed of the inline tower type palletizer and the precision of the classic pick and place palletizer. A second set of fingers gently places the load rather than stripping against the backstop. This results in a low drop height and a precise load building, often without the need for four-way squaring. The Impress touchscreen control is very user-friendly. LED lighting helps highlight the device where problems may occur so that the operators can quickly interject. The Pegasus Impress is constantly checking how fast the line is running and advising the operators what capacity we have. Finally, are we ready for you? Well, Pegasus is now complete and we're exercising speed trials at our factory at the moment. We'll be inviting our customers to an open house in January, uh, in the first quarter of next year, to demonstrate it to you. In the meantime, we have a simulation tool at our booth where we can prove to you the speed of Pegasus. Thank you very much to the committee and thank you very much to Jan van Houten for his cooperation during our development. Thank you. Thank you, Simon.